Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 166 of this Tennis Elbow Manager 2 save. I'm the Custard Prophet and we're back here following Sean Death as he tries his very best to get to the top of tennis. Uh, we are at the latter stages of his uh, attempt to do this, I think, and uh, in the previous episode we were in the Australian Open final. So if you haven't seen that and it went, came out in midweek, go back and watch that, it was worth a watch. Are you gone? Right, yeah, we won that, and uh, that has reduced the gap to Silvich, and now to just, this is, sorry, this is the race, don't get too excited. This is the thing that matters. Uh, we are about 1,500 points behind Silvich. Um, so today, we are in the Rotterdam Open. I said we weren't going to come back for that, but you know why not why not we are trying to hold on to the 500 points that we won last year when we won this uh, this tournament uh, otherwise we drop a little bit further back but it looks like uh, there's nobody really near us other than Silvich so we are trying to run him down and he's coming through a period of matches where last year he won a lot of tournaments so hopefully he has a little bit of a trip up this time round so this is how we're doing in, in Rotterdam. Uh, we played Danielson. It's been a while actually since we played this guy and he was a good player back in the day. We went through him quite easily 6-2, 6, -2, 6 -2, uh, and then moved forward to the uh, uh, Dutchman Tom um, who uh, was 96th in the world. I was thinking this probably isn't going to be too difficult. It wasn't 6-1, 6-2 but this one was hard. Uh, the Czech player Bortan, who is a good player, uh, and to get a 6 2 6 2 win over him was a really, really good result. But what is interesting here is that we have, and we've got a t I think this is a tough tie, and we could potentially get a very tough tie in the next round. So let's have a look at this Frenchman, Guivian, and see what he's all about. So you can see a lot of power on that forehand very very strong player probably going to be playing uh, at the back of the court and we just need to make sure that we um, make the most of it when we get chances you can see we played him uh, about four or five years ago and uh, won fairly comfortably against him 6276 but he was a lot uh, a lot younger then and a lot less experienced physically not that powerful uh, so hopefully we can make the most of this he's um it's going to be a tough one i think i don't think this is at all an easy one and then look ken zopsku there sits to, as a potential opponent in the final which is a real challenge so yeah let's uh, let's go and see if we can get through this semi-final first of all this is what we look like doing very very nicely um i'm hoping we can continue to Play, play good tennis. So we're going to focus on the backhand, I think. But, I mean, to be fair, there's no... I think we will, uh, but we just have to kind of hold on, hold on in there and, and uh, play our game, I think, and hope that that is enough. We've got experience points if we need them. So uh, I think... We will go towards the backhand just a little bit and we'll go a little bit uh, further from the baseline because he's quite a powerful player. Serve speed down as we've been doing uh, and I think we'll leave it at that for now. We'll see how this starts. Right then folks, wish us luck. Uh, this this would be a good important win against a, a good player. First game was a little bit tricky uh, but you can see here as I turn the volume down a little bit. Apologies, uh, we're 30 40 up now. 30, so we just, just want to um, see if we can take this early break, that would be nice. A lot of power on that serve, real kick on the serve as well. Why is he coming in? Oh, what a shot that was! To love. I didn't expect him to be coming to the net because he wasn't, well, he's not all out of the net. So, 5 3 up. 40-15 up, only one break has served, very little opportunities beyond that, so uh, a good first set to get, and he's given it away there, 6-3, um, 
looking at this yeah he's come to the net quite a lot and it just has not worked for him um so 31 points one versus his 22 uh and short rallies we're doing pretty well there that it's even the longer the rally gets so that's something to keep an eye on second serve he's pretty useless on so good good first set um can we do it again in the second set I'm not too worried at the minute I think this is it's looking okay form of the day for is 100 for him and 100 for us right let's move on it's four all and there's nothing happening really but we'll love 40 up this has got to be the, the chance um it's just not offered much on on our serve really so far He's gone wide there, and that's not the one he wanted to miss. And I think this might be it for him. And uh, we've got 40-15 up. Uh, it's a match point. First service. And this is a professional performance. I have to say, I was a little bit concerned coming into this match. He's, he's a good player, um, and certainly he's he's caused us trouble, but we've dealt with it well 6364 comfortable victory and on we go folks on we go into the final Who, who's it going to be it's got to be Zopsku hasn't it it's oh, I, was, I was hopeful I was so hopeful there it is Ken Zopsku so we've got 300 points uh, if we lose this we only drop 200 points which will be um, which will be okay. I would like to, to keep that 500 points. Let's have a look at Mr. Zopsku because he is still very, very good. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have played him twice and lost to him twice. Again, he's probably not gonna come to the net, but we thought that about the last guy. Backhand again is where we're focusing. Um, yeah, looking at him, we played him a couple of years ago on similar style of court and in Indian Wells and beat him 7-6-6-1 so I would really like a, a victory here against Sopsky I think this is going to be tough he has been number one in the world as well interestingly and the, after the uh, yeah after going through a very poor period here uh, what's his face went ahead of him again I didn't actually think he dropped out off number one but it looks like he has so that that is interesting All right let's move on let's play that game so we're focusing on the backhand um yeah focusing on the backhand and again we have to take note of his power reflex is not great tactics not great uh and volleying He's, you don't expect him to come to the net this, yeah not sure about this one so we've loaded our uh, strategy taking serve speed down a touch there again we'll move a little bit further away from the baseline because of his power and focus more on his backhand let's see what happens here I'm, at some point uh, it's all going to fall down surely this could well be the place well maybe maybe we're 30 40 down on our serve and we've decided to run in <sighs> we wasn't sure but juice good serve well let's just get through this first one well, we would love 40 down, or 40 love down, and we've won four points on the trot against a chance here, maybe? Advantage. Second serve. Yep, there we go. We have taken first break. Let's do it. Well, we're 5-4 up in the first set, um, and this is a uh, set point. Second serve, 40 love up. It's uh, yeah, good, good opening set here, and again, very professionally done. Six four, more of the same, please. Uh, looking at the stats here, uh, short while at rallies is where we're winning these things. Um, let's have a look at his mistakes. Yeah, it's very very similar there. Not really much difference between the two. First serves going in very very similar. A little bit slower with his serve than us. Yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. A good percentage wins on our serve. Not such good on his. We'll keep with that. I think that's pretty good. We'll see how we do in the second set. Early break of serve potentially though. 30-40. 
and a break point and second serve this would be very nice to get all it was a bit of a kicker of a second serve and it just took us by surprise I think another chance here just an all gorgeous serve that was but right in the corner that was and there we go break well we're 3-1 up now 15-40 and um, yeah it's all looking pretty good at the minute I mean it could all fall down very easily but what a start to the season this has been we're 4-1 up there's two breaks ahead right let's go well there we go he's just fallen apart 5-1 love 40 up and looks like we have this uh, Rotterdam Open tournament we've retained it another 500 points that we've retained as well and uh, let's just finish this off and he put it into the net he's just fallen apart there uh, very very good I thought we'd been much harder match that really did I thought I thought those last two matches if we got through would really test us and uh, I'm very pleased to see actually we've just played well and it didn't it wasn't a test really we uh, we played professionally so it shouldn't change anything we are the winner and all that's happened is that we retained that that trophy so we shouldn't we shouldn't be dropping any points at all so uh, let's just have a quick look at the so we've got a week off and then we're going to Dubai and then to Indian Wells and then to Miami and then we got a bit of time off and then it's Monte Carlo so it's a little bit of a busy spell but a week off before Dubai that'll be fine we need to train on blue green cement so let's make sure that's on before we how uh, we can't do that yet so we're just going to move to the next week and yeah that's good of course we are um we've got 500 points there for the uh, the race points and um we are of course going to be first because we're way ahead of everyone else other thing that i forgot to show you um earlier on we have now got the swimming pool this will give us a five percent bonus for our swimming so that's that's helpful um Okay, let's just quickly have a look here at the rankings. This shouldn't have changed at all. Yeah, it's exactly the same, but we have retained the points that we needed to retain. So over to you, Silvich. And it's blue green cement. Have we got blue green cement? Yeah, we do. I think that's what we're playing on next. And you buy, yeah. So it's mid fast. We're pretty much as we should be there anyway. So that is fine. Experience points through the roof. We just want to make sure we go into this next, this, these next sessions feeling fully, uh, fully fit, fully motivated, and just try and pick up a few more points because we didn't get very far last time. We only got to the the second round last time. So if we can get through. A few more rounds then we're going to start picking up points um, and just creeping towards Mr. Silvich. Okay folks that's it I will see you for the next one as we sort of move ever closer slowly slowly towards Silvich and world number one. I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button subscribe if you're new and I'll see you for the next one goodbye.